Hello and welcome to the Traveling Show Bunny Girl vlog. And today I would like to talk about the best advice, piece of advice I've ever received and how to use it. It came from uh, uh, one of the people I most admire. So, you know, I think that maybe one day some someone will be watching these vlogs and they might recognize I was talking about them, <laughs> but I will cite no names. So I prefer to keep it this way. Um, but I will give myself the permission to, it's my vlog after all. So I'll give myself the permission to talk about my experiences and why, um, and keep, you know, like names and identities safe. But the experience is mine, so I'm allowed to talk about it. <laughs> so, um, it's one of the people I most admire. Um, they're wise beyond their years. Like, they're incredible. Um, whenever I have the chance to work with them, uh, we work backstage together sometimes. I'm always just in awe. I love their energy and... Um, yeah, they just, they're just incredible. And one of the things they told me was to always come from a place of love. So I think, I think it came, I'm not sure. I think it was after I asked for advice. Um, I had... So now, as I say, I'm on my third year in business. And before, I was, I was very, very naive when I started. And I attracted all the wrong people, um, who are fortunately not around anymore. Uh, actually, I have no idea where they are. <laughs> I hope they're fine. I hope they're fine. But I remember I had this problem. Uh, I was kind of really bullied and I just looked for help and I contacted everybody that I know for help and one of them is this person and uh, and then we kind of stayed in contact regarding this because one thing is they always remember things you say which is amazing because they know everybody like in burlesque and they know them personally and they take care of them and I don't know how they can do it. It's, it's incredible. And so, yeah. And then I remember I had a specific problem with a student uh, who was, yeah, you know, it's not this kind of just you suck kind of bullying. But this student was very much, um, yeah, I was trying to make us feel bad for following the things we had agreed on. So they kind of wanted to bend the rules. And at the time I was like very, very naive and, and you know, I'm, I'm a really, really good person. So I decided to do it. And to be honest, I don't regret, um, but yeah, I never regret having been a good person, you know, like there is no way I can regret that. I don't have to be the person teaching everybody their lessons, you know, I know life does. So yeah, and then I remember we had a show and then after this show, there was some kind of problem. And then I think it was at that moment that uh, this um, big um, role model for me told me, always come from a place of love. And it's very funny, right? Because when you say it, it sounds like, oh yeah, sure, pff, done, easy enough. Of course we can do that. And that's very funny because these, I find that this piece of advice is, overarching really you can just live your life by it's like Beatles were right all you need is love 
Um, funny enough, they were really correct. Mm. However, um, it's not as straightforward as it sounds, you know. Some situations easy, but in some situations, it's hard, you know, to figure out how can I come from a place of love to solve this. But trust me, it works. It always works. So really, if you, if you, that's the best thing, really, if it can just take it to heart and really think through how to apply it, but really always apply it before you make any decision, life will be easy, really easy. And I can tell you, so I just recorded another video for you. And in this video, I talk about um, being a leader and people requesting a lot of things, you know. There is a lot of questions, of course, because people want to do things right. But besides that, there is a lot of things that people might need your approval or just your permission because things are yours, you know. Like, I have a studio and then if people want to use the studio, they need to ask me. The show is mine if I'm producing and people have to ask me as the producer. So it's like, they have to come to me. And that takes a lot of space and it takes a lot of energy. And sometimes um, it's things that will take some time off of you. So, hmm, this coffee is not great. <laughs> I just... I was just trying some capsules, someone left. Uh. So, uh, I'll give you a few examples how it goes. Um, if someone asks you something and you don't really want to do it, that's totally fine. You know, you're allowed that. That's important. It's important that you know. And it's important that you do say no if you don't want to do it. Don't do things you don't want to do. Don't. Just don't. It's your life. Don't do it. No, okay, I want to say no to something and this person really wants it. How can I come from a place of love when replying to that? You know, like, <laughs> you see, it's, it's, it's so simple, but at the same time, it can be so complicated, you know, how to go around that. I find that to be very um, helpful if you can just think of solutions because normally we think of justifying and even though it might help you know like you can understand why someone said no and that can really give them some peace of mind um well it doesn't help does it <laughs> it's like yeah can i can i lend you know this uh, piece of costume and then I'm like, no. And then usually you say, well, it happened before, you know, in the past that people are not very careful with my thing. So I prefer right now not to lend anything, you know, so I have, I can take care of my own things. Um, however, how about this other one? I can't lend you this one, you know, because this one is very special. But there is this one here. Or I also saw something very similar at this shop, if you are willing to buy. And it's that easy. So you see, I still said no to what I didn't want to do, but I offered them solutions and uh, in different ways. I remember I'll tell you about some things. Uh, there was once a problem I had actually it wasn't once it was more than once it was a couple of times maybe a few times um we are a dance studio so people sweat you know it gets hot inside and hygiene is very important and what I notice sometimes is some people even though they shower sometimes they don't change their clothes or sometimes they don't like deodorant, you know, because of some chemicals that are in it or whatever. So there is several reasons why, you know, like people might have some false smell, you know. And I remember, you know, like someone telling me or sometimes teachers telling me, you know, I don't know who that is, you know, but someone is like this. And, you know, it, it makes everybody's experience worse. 
And again, coming from a place of love, you want your teacher to have the best experience. You want every student there to have the best experience because you love them. And you also want this person who might be causing this or these people, if it's more than one, to also have a good experience. And how do you do that? How do you come from a place of love towards people who have different opinions or, yeah, someone who just doesn't care and is like, well, no, bodily smells are bodily smells. I don't care. And some people are like, well, that really bothers me. I hate the smell. I can't be here. And, you know, like there is so many things to think. And honestly, how do you tell people nicely coming from a place of love that they need to change your shower, right? That can be overstepping, you know, like their boundaries, you know, it's not nice. If someone came to me like, hmm. You know, like, I don't know, I feel like you smell or you have bad breath or whatever. Like, I would feel horrible. I would be okay with them doing that, in fact. And that's the key. When you come from a place of love, it all makes sense. Because why am I doing this? If you can think of why you're doing things and your why is love, you'll find a way. So, actually, I did come... And then uh, to these people before. And then I did tell them, I was like, well, because first I find it's my responsibility as their teacher and their coach. And someone told me that, right, as the leader. So I had to come to them and say that. And I was like, well, you know, I don't know what that is. Maybe, you know, because you wear such beautiful clothes, which is very true. I, I never, actually, I never lied there for a single moment. I was trying to figure out, like, what, what is it? Is it their clothes? Is it them? Is it them? Maybe it's someone else. You know, you can't really be sure. Um, but I knew, I knew because, you know, it was, um, I, I knew this person for a while and they were in different places and I noticed the same thing so I knew it was someone um I was like well you know it's beautiful lace and I know it can be tricky to wash you know sometimes so can I give you some hints you know for that um because you know sometimes if we wear like costumes you know right we don't wash our costumes nearly as much as we should to be honest <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then there are some tricks, you know, you can spray with vodka, you can spray, you know, with like some fabric spray. There is some tricks you can use. So I just came with this to them and actually they took it really nicely. And I think it was because, so first thing is you coming up with a solution. You're not coming up with blaming. Because again, if you are coming from a place of love, you're not blaming Love is not blaming. Love doesn't do that. Love offers solutions. Love offers help. So just what, what is that? You know, what does love offer? You know, um, that's one thing. And second, people can tell, you know, people are not stupid. If you are coming from a place of, I just want to make money out of it. I just want you out of here. I just... I just think you, you're bad at this and you suck. People will notice. If you're coming from a place of, I appreciate and I love you for, for, for who you are, you know, because as human beings, they just deserve love anyway. And I'm here to help with what I see. And the fact that you are here around me gives me this permission to try and do that, you know. And if not, they're free not to. Again, you know, remember that. Uh, they know. They know. My students know if my correction is coming from, um, like, expectations that are maybe misplaced. Because, you know, sometimes I have to remember they are hobbyists. You know, it's not their full-time job. They're not professional dancers. So expectations have to be different. Or if it's coming out of love. People can tell if the way you compliment them is coming out of love or out of I want something from you. People can tell that. So 
if you come from the place of love, they will just take it. Even if you do something a little off, because you're trying, you know, maybe you don't get it right the first time and that's okay. But it just works. Even like with people who were once like very confrontational, I actually had someone last time who was threatening and very ugly uh, person, you know. And, uh, and still I was like, well, I just want to solve this problem. What is it that they want? What is my best way of coming from a place of love? Giving them what their heart also needs while at the same time creating the boundary that I want with them. And it just works. It just works. So, yeah, I'm curious to know what you think. So, if you have the time, leave a comment. I'd love to know what you think. So, thank you for watching. See you soon.